Hi guys, uh, this is Vamsi back again. So today I would like to show you how to configure linked server between on-prem and Azure. Very simple task. So before showing that, I wanted to show you how my configuration looks like. How my configuration looks like, I'm sorry. So I have one virtual machine, sorry, two virtual machines inside my Azure. So if I go to here, if I go here and if I go to the virtual machines, I have internal host. This is my domain controller and the domain controller name is point to site and this is node one sql these are the two machines that are running inside my azure environment and when it comes to on-prem i have my domain controller and i have my node one sql okay and if you see i am able to connect from on-prem to my azure environment with the help of site to site connectivity and i will show you here so this is my site to site vpn azure so it's shows the status as connected and if i go to my virtual network gateway uh, let me go to the virtual network gateway and i'll show you so if you see the ingress and uh, ingress and egress so the data is being now transferred and if i go to the connections it will show you the status as connected so this is my setup guys so as you can see i have one mission in on-prem and one mission in azure both are running on SQL 29. So my requirement is now to configure linked server between Azure and on-prem. So I am connected to Azure and if you see, I'm connected with private IP, not the public IP. So that means my site-to-site -site connectivity is working as expected. And so this is my node one SQL is part of Azure and the IP address what you are seeing is part of on-prem, okay? So here I'm going to create a linked server. So my linked server is from Azure environment to on-prem environment. So I'm going here and clicking on new linked server and I'm giving the name as Azure to on-prem, Azure to Azure to on-prem. And my data source will be the on-prem environment instance it is named instance what i have on on-prem so i'm passing the ip and the named instance name and if i go to the security i'm using sa account and as a sql account for the linked server connectivity purpose uh, i'm sorry I, I misspelled the password so let me type it properly and it got connected. I have one database sitting on on-prem and that database name is India. And if you see, if I go here, I have just one table created by name test. And if I fire select start from table name, it's very simple. I have only one record over here. And now I want to fetch the same record, whatever that is there in on-prem from Azure using the linked server. So it, the syntax is select star from linked server name dot database name and the schema name dot table name. So I will just keep the quotes so that it looks good. DBO and finally the test. Test is the table name and India is the database name and DBO is the schema name and Azure to on-prem is the linked server name. If you see, I'm able to get the record. So let me just insert few records and let's see if I'm able to read those records. So set no count on, set no count on, and I'll just write a small loop. So declare at the rate I int and while I less than 50, I'll set the variable I to two and begin insert into table name values i and set increment it by one i plus one and end so this will be my code so it will insert 50 rows so let's do that and let's fire select star from test. As you can see, I got 49 rows. Of course, I said less than 50. So let's fire the same query 
from the linked server and there you go at the very next moment i'm able to read the data from azure environment to my on-prem server thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions please do come back to me thank you